But what value is it to life? Either to your life or anybody's life, there are two kinds of people. Some people are interested in talking, some people are interested in listening. You must decide which is wiser. Everything that you can do in your life should be done because there is a restlessness of wanting to be the fear that you may not find expression. Some people are interested in expression, some people are interested in perception. It is perception which enhances your life, not expression. If you do something with your fundamental consciousness, then the wake that you leave is forever. So, do not focus your life on expression, it'll go waste. Perception, let this life be a lifetime of perception. You are asking me whether it is better to have a diarrhea or a constipation. Let me tell you the two pro pros and cons of the two situations <laughs> Is this the only two ways that either diarrheal problem or constipation problem? No, there is a healthy way to... For those of you who are constantly having struggles within yourself, I'm telling you, what do you think? This is not about your emotions and this, but that is an important and basic aspect. I am not a yogi because I cannot be a businessman, I am not a yogi because I cannot be an academic, I can be all those things. But I've chosen to be this because I thought this would be the most impactful dimension for this generation of people. Are you an expressive person or a perceptive one? Many people tend to be more expressive while others tend to be the opposite. But, what is the right way to lead life? Satguru says there are some fundamentals that need to be addressed first. Have a look. There are two kinds of people. Some people are interested in talking, some people are interested in listening. You must decide which is wiser. Some people are interested in expression, some people are interested in perception. It is perception which enhances your life, not expression. I know you are a child of Freud, because the modern psycho analysis and psychiatry went about saying, you must express, otherwise you'll go crazy. You will express your madness, that's the biggest problem in the world. Everybody is busy expressing their madness in the world. Everybody is busy expressing their limitations in the world. Everybody is busy expressing their prejudices and opinions in the world. What is the use of this expression, I'm saying? Perception is enhancement of life. This life for you should be about enhancing it not about expanding it. I want you to look at it. At this moment in your life, just sit back and simply look at it. All the things that have found expression from you, take away the social context, just look at it as life. You're born one day and you'll be dead one day. In between this, all the things that you've said and done and expressed, what meaning does it have? But what value is it to life? Either to your life or anybody's life. Okay, this moment I can say something and impress somebody here. Maybe I can teach something to a child and, you know, help him to learn something, live better, whatever. But in terms of existential life, as a piece of life, what does it mean, all the things that I've expressed? It means nothing, but all that you have perceived will make this go… life go far. Birds are tweeting, it's a little more pleasant than all these human beings tweeting. Now,
Expression is like an expanse of life, You're expanding it. Perception is enhancement of life. This life for you should be about enhancing it, not about expanding it. If you want to find expression to what little you have perceived already, I would say, wait. This restlessness is, you know, across the world now. It used to be an American phenomena, but now it's everywhere. Everybody is restless. Before they want… are twenty, they want their life to be done. Everything that you can do in your life should be done, because there is a restlessness of wanting to be… the fear that you may not find expression. There is no need to be afraid of finding expression because if you become profound with your perception, your expression happens not verbally, not by action, it becomes akashic expression. They are the only ones who live. When the planet goes away, you know, the solar system has its lifespan, when it implodes into itself or explodes whichever way it goes, even when the planet goes away, what certain people have left will not go. You heard of Mark and I? Mark and I lived through the destruction of the solar system and again came back. Because what you do with your consciousness does not die when the physical dies. When I say the physical dying, not about an individual dying. Even when the solar system dies, when the universe dies, when the whole galaxy dies, what you did on the level of your consciousness will not die, it leaves awake forever. And always available to human… to any being of any nature, who has the necessary perception for that being, it will always be available. Today, in my experience, if I simply sit here, for me, whether it is Adiyogi or Krishna or Buddha or anybody, any of the yogis who lived beyond their physical nature, they are all present for me here, they are alive here. They are not past. When I speak about them, I talk about them, they are like here because they are here. If you do action with your physical self, it leaves a certain wake in the existence and it obliterates itself. If you do something powerfully with your mind, it leaves a larger wake, but it will obliterate itself after some time. If you reverberate your physical energy in a certain way, it will leave a larger, much larger wake which has a much longer lifespan and it dies. But if you do something beyond that, if you do something with your fundamental consciousness, then the wake that you leave is forever. So, do not focus your life on expression, it will go waste. Perception, let this life be a lifetime of perception. All sadhana is oriented largely towards perception. Right now there's a teacher training pro program going on, we are asking them to express something that they don't even know. It's a dangerous walk. I'm all constantly cautioning them, a teacher must be alert. Otherwise, ignorance will take on an enlightened form, which is very, very dangerous which is happening all over. This is what the books and internet is doing to people. Not knowing anything, you know everything, okay? Limitedness is the biggest poison. It is not that you have to do something negative. Limitations are the basis of your suffering. Limitations that people have spread, limited ways of thought, limited ways of emotion, limited ways of experience, is the biggest poison that the humans have swallowed. The less expression it finds, the better it is. If you finds no expression, it's great. So, one of the most important things if you want to build your Akashic self with some strength and presence in your life, one thing is why people go into silence for years is no expression, only perception. Because what can you express? Let's hear what the creation and the source of creation has to say. We have to listen.
we have to perceive, not express. So sadhana is largely, largely, ninety-five percent is perception-oriented. We want to make it expression-oriented, we can easily do that. But people start finding expression to all kinds of limitations that they have. The limitations that you have, it's best they don't find expression because it pollutes everything around you. I'm not saying that you are going to spread bad thoughts or bad emotions, bad energy, no. People are here doing sadhana for twenty-five years. We don't let them speak even once because they don't have to find expression. They just have to deepen their perception, deepen their perception forever. Because what you need to perceive is a zillion times, zillion, zillion, zillion times larger than what you could ever express. Some people in the world are expressive and emotional, while others are composed. But which one is better? Let's hear Satguru's perspective on how we should deal with our emotions while dealing with other people in our life. I'm a very emotional person. My emotions are exaggerated in both positive and negative ways. However, my mother is the complete opposite. She doesn't express her emotions at all. Although I feel I'm much more lively and interesting to be around, my mother is better composed to handle various situations. Which is better? <laughs> you are asking me whether it is better to have a diarrhea or a constipation. <laughs> Let me tell you the two pro pros and cons of the two situations. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a diarrhea, you need a free toilet always, that is, nobody else should be using it. Because when you need to use it, time runs too fast. That's why it's called runs. The inconvenience of going to the toilet, but also you have the relief of, ha! Ah. If you keep hydrating yourself, diarrhea is uh, quite a okay feeling, at least you're free of shit. <laughs> but it's inconvenient, it's a little messy if the convenience of toilet is not around. Is this the only two ways? that either diarrheal problem or constipation problem. No, there is a healthy way to be, only on, where only once or twice a day you go to the toilet, rest of the time you're fine. There is a way to be, there's a way to be healthy also. That's what we are talking about constantly. What do you think? This is not about your emotions and this, but that is an important and basic aspect very basic, rudimentary, that you're emotionally balanced if you want to touch any other <laughs> Why you think I'm... we are going about constipation? Very composed look. <laughs> this is why a lot of people are having problems with me <laughs> because their idea of a yogi or a sage or a mystic is from a calendar image, Sivakashi, you know, where <laughs> there must be a constipated look on your face. <laughs> well, <laughs> because I don't look constipated, they are having doubts. Huh? Is he really a yogi? Because he's not. <laughs> so constipation is a more composed atmosphere, naturally. But slowly, shit will hit the ceiling. You need to understand this much. For those of you who are constantly having struggles within yourself, I'm telling you, 
Well, uh, I definitely do not look like a person who will invest myself into something that doesn't work because I could have made anything work. I am not a yogi because I cannot be a businessman. I am not a yogi because I cannot be an academic. I am not a yogi because I cannot be a scientist. I am not a yogi because I cannot be a pol political leader. I can be all those things. But I've chosen to be this because I thought this would be the most impactful dimension for this generation of people. That's why. Expression is a very strong human aspect of displaying your emotions. At the same time, composure is also a strong way to hide your emotions. But perception is always better than expression, as explained by Satguru. Click on the video shown above to attain more wisdom from Satguru. Did you like the insights by Satguru on the idea of expressing yourself? What would you like to see in the next video? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.